to access Canvas Workspace on a tablet, open the internet browser on the device and type in the address bar canvasworkspace.brother.com. You will then come to the Canvas Workspace homepage, which you may recognize from earlier sections talking about the online version. We would enter our username and password as normal and then tap on Log In. There are some small layout differences, obviously because we are working with a smaller screen size. However, you may be again familiar with this from the online version. I will start a new project in order to talk about this lecture, which is adding shapes from the pattern library. We now have Canvas Workspace loaded and a new project mat ready to load shapes onto. The pattern library is hidden by default. To access it, over on the right we tap on this arrow here. That will expand and reveal the pattern library. Here we have access to a lot of basic shapes, borders, logos, and the text feature of Canvas Workspace. To load a basic shape, we tap on it, or we can tap and drag. Either of these will work. Either of these will also work for the borders. It's the same process for the logos, which are pre-designed sentiments or phrases. When it comes to the text, however, the best thing to do really is to click on the text style that you want. This then loads up the text box on screen. We would then double click the text to enter the text editing mode and instead of directly editing on screen as we do with the online version or the installed version, we now have a pop-up box which asks us to type in our text. So we can delete and type in the new word. Obviously on your device the keyboard may pop up, in this instance I am actually using an emulator. So there we can see, after we tapped on OK, the word has changed and we now have that text to work with. So it's very simple to load shapes from the pattern library.